guys, um, this is me, Spencer, your Saturday guy, they kind of just dropped off in my MIA for a while, um, but I am back on MUT, because I just, I miss video making, and haven't been making videos on my own channel either, in like two months, which has been very long, so I'm back, yay, um, I'm gonna try and catch up with recent videos, because we started a new some topics from April to July, so yeah. Um, so the three cop the three topics that I'll pop I will be covering in this video is how to come out to people in your life, friends, family members, coworkers, etc. School, peers, yada yada. Advice you have for your younger self, and then what have you liked the most so far in your tradition. So here we go. Mm. So I guess the main thing I would say, mo the main thing I would say about coming out to people um, in your life, whether it be very personal relationships or interpersonal or just like co-workers versus like close friends, in that way, I would say take it with a grain of salt to kind of not really be aware, well, yes, be aware of like how, what their thoughts and feelings are about the trans community, about, you know, trans people, um, their use of pronouns, and the sense of like, do you feel safe enough to come out in this environment? Do you think that coming out will affect this environment, how people treat you, and how they would view you, and how they perceive you, etc.? Because in the sense of coming out in school, there are policies that could be in place. For example, for New York State, and specifically New York City, there are policies within place that protect student, trans students that do come out and are conditioning, whether it be socially, medically, etc., um, under law. So schools cannot discriminate against trans students, neither nor can schools administrations decline students or deny the access to the bathrooms they choose to use or the pronouns they want to go by, etc. Um, but more for a workspace, um, similar guidelines under certain New York City um, areas. So it's like if you're working, like say, like um, like example, like a board of like a advisor for the board of ed or something, or like a I don't know, something within the board of ed or like the city itself. If you work within the city, then you kind of have to, you really have, you can't, you cannot be discriminated against legally. Um, my research may be, may be a bit off, but I will double check it just in case. So yeah, so basically if you work for, for a city, they can't really be discriminatory against you, but they may try to find loopholes around it or try to be biased or gatekeeping, etc. Um, but that's like a whole nother topic at hand. So yeah, basically, for coming out, just like know your environment, for one, to know if it feels safe enough to come out. Two, you can like casually mention it, like, hey, you should notice, yada yada, or like you could tell them in a more private setting, whichever you prefer, um, in that sense. So yeah, so safety first with the environment, um, knowing how to tell them, whether it's to personal face-to-face, -to, -face, to a text, even showing like, an old post you made before, and like, hey, yada yada, this is so relevant because I identify yada yada. So that, um, in the sense of advice for my younger self, so like, if you haven't noticed, I had a haircut recently, because before my hair was just like, it was wild. Um, so yeah, I got cut and I dyed it, so yeah, mm, it was pink, and now it's blonde again, so yeah. So advice I would have for my younger self. Hmm, that's a lot. Where do I start? I think my biggest advice would be take your time. Because I feel like, I know for sure growing up, you know, around the ages of like 12, 13 when I first started coming out and I first realized I'm migration, I was really in a rush to like do everything at once. I was in a rush to get a chest binder. I was in a rush to get my hair cut even though my hair was very damaged from heat and relaxing it so much. It was just horrible. And rushing to like have my name used properly, my pronoun, and I would get so angry and I fits like tantrums if they didn't people didn't use it right if they discarded it and it was just like you can't appease by everybody and you shouldn't because I don't want to conform to like society standards of what gender me is and what a man is technically speaking and all that so it's just like I guess my best advice for my younger self the person who I was six years ago 12 years old just coming out take your time take your time in the sense of like knowing what kind of binder you would like to use because just because it's a well-known binder company doesn't mean it's the right one for you don't get a size that is too small because you are going to be in a lot of pain and you're going to regret that shit and then you're going to be bruised and then you're going to be upset because you can't bind properly. So yeah. Um, also, don't try to bind every day for like 
be years and months on end because there are days where you don't have to bind and you shouldn't feel like you need to bind to feel peace in society or to feel it's one thing to bind because for self comfort and to ease the story and it's another thing to bind because you feel like you need to in order to pass in society's eyes. You don't have to bind every day. Um also don't rush into things like packing and all that because you may not like it at first. But you could eat into it. So again just like timing timing really for yourself. So like taking time for your attention. I wish I kinda of would have done that a bit sooner, but I didn't and then it's okay. If I look like I move me I'm playing with the dog. You can't see him. I'm playing with the dog and he's fluffing the like, Hold on. Rocky, come. Come, sit up. You know? Okay, he doesn't want to sit up. Oh, well. So, yeah, taking my time more when conditioning and, like, coming out. Not rushing to be out to everybody. And, you know, this is my name. Yada, yada. Yada. I think I also took some time out with my name. I don't mind my name. I love it. Actually, I like how my name sounds. I like how it's spelled. All that jazz. Just, like, there was probably other options I kind of went with. But I like the name. It's good. I'm keeping it. Mm. So yeah, and finally, um, what, finally, mm, mm, ah, what do I like the most so far in my tradition? So yeah, so, so far in my personal tradition, um, the thing I like the most, aside from like, of course, testosterone, I think, honestly, to see how it's knowing the shift in like, not really male privilege in a sense, but more of a sense of like, moving throughout life as a male and how that shifts as I am on testosterone and the medical treatment of it and how my face changes shape and then my jawline is more defined, how I'm gaining more muscle mass and I have more energy and stamina, my sex drive has increased so like going through life as a male while also spending puberty as a male. So I think that's my favorite in the sense that I have more of an eye opener because I feel like before testosterone and before really being comfortable with my body in like a physical manner and like a mentally emotional state. I just wouldn't want anyone to be touching me or being affectionate with me as much unless it was just like, okay, the bare minimum of holding hands and hugging and that was it. Like I wouldn't want anything beyond that. And now, for those that know me and for those that I am very close with, I am being more open to sexual relationships and relationships in general that are more physically based and more intimate based. So. I'm open to that, and I like the fact that I can do that within my tradition at this stage. It's not like I'm weed, and not and not like hold myself back from that opportunities, or just close myself off to it because I feel like, oh well, I don't like myself so far because my tradition isn't fully there yet. This is the doggy. This is the doggy. He's so cute. This is Rocky. Mm. See so, yeah. it. So I like that I'm becoming more comfortable with my body, even though it's not where I would like it to be 100%. I'm comfortable with it so far, and that is good enough for me at the moment. So yeah, um, I will try my best to at least make a video on Fridays and have it uploaded by Saturday. I can promise. I will try. So yeah, and take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. And this is Spencer.